All right, everyone. So today I'm going to talk about formatting and using this in Mac OS X. Now, normally when you buy a USB thumbstick or a hard drive off the shelf at a store, most of the time it's going to come pre-formatted as FAT32. And the reason why they choose to format their drives in FAT32 is because it's the most compatible of this formats out there. It'll work in Linux, Windows, and OS X without any special driver support. You can read and write to it. So it's a very easy format uh, to ship by default. Unfortunately, FAT32 is about 12 or 13 years old at this point. Um, I believe it was introduced in 1996 with Windows 95 OS R2. So it's a pretty old format. Um, there's some space inefficiencies with it. There are fragmentation issues. And um, it's not it's not the most robust solution anymore. So when you're setting up or when you're ready to use a, a disk in OS X, uh, the way that you want to access and get to formatting functions is by using disk utility. And as you can see, that's commonly found in the uh, utilities folder in applications. And when you want to start working with a disk, uh, normally, generally speaking, you want to click on the uh, disk at the top level or root of your tree structure. So I have a USB thumb drive plugged in right here. I'm going to click on the uh, top level directory or root of the uh, file system. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over here and click on the partition tab. And right now I currently have it set up as one partition. And if you want to go ahead and reformat, you just click on one partition right there. And now you have the ability to choose your disk formats uh, that you want to use. So here you have the option of OS X Extended Journaled, OS X Extended, Case Sensitive, and Free Space and FAT32. Now when it comes to smaller size disks, such as a thumb drive or memory card, Generally speaking, I will maintain it and keep it in FAT32. And the reason for that is because of portability reasons. If you're using a, a thumb drive or thumbstick, normally you want to swap between, uh, say, a Mac and a PC. And the only way you can do that right now is to format as FAT32. Now, recently, I was uh, working on a friend's hard drive. And... He had his set up uh, by default as a FAT32 based disk. And when looking at the uh, file sizes or space available on a hard drive and on FAT32, you'll notice that you have a total capacity to you of uh, 200 gigabytes. However, I offered to uh, switch out the format and reformat as HFS Plus. And generally speaking, when I work with large volumes or hard drives basically, I like to format my disk in HFS Plus. So when I reformatted and redid its drive in HSF Plus, the capacity went down slightly, but not by much, less than a gigabyte. So if you're working with hard drives uh, or large volumes where space really isn't a consideration, then I would generally recommend to use HFS Plus. And the reason why I tend to format in HFS Plus is because it is a more robust uh, filing solution to store in your data. And one time I was working with a FAT32 drive, and it was an external hard drive, and the power cut out, and pretty much I lost 180 gigabytes of data on my hard drive. And that really upset me and pissed me off and if you look at the uh, the way my friend's hard drive was formatted as FAT32 you'll notice that there's some missing information in the uh, disk utility window now OS X does its best to work with FAT32 based volumes but you'll notice that there is some information missing for example um, you'll notice that it doesn't have a folder count available to it it also doesn't list the number of files available. All it does is it sees the raw file allocation table and works with that and reads and writes to it as it does. The problem with this is that, once again, if there is a power outage or a crash or something happens and you're using a FAT32 based drive, 
there is a extreme possibility that you can lose all your data. I did it once in Tiger, and I ever since then I've learned not to format hard drives as FAT32. You may lose some convenience in be, being able to transport that drive between machines and between systems, but generally speaking, it's not worth it. So ever since then, I've formatted all my hard drives in HFS Plus, and you'll see that OS X has the proper drive volume support too. Look at the file system, work with the directories, look at the catalog, the extents, and things of that nature, and it'll be able to keep track of things uh, a lot better. So as you can see, when I took its hard drive and I uh, migrated it from FAT32 to HSS Plus, it gives you a more accurate description as to what's going on in the file system. So those are just my thoughts on uh, the differences between FAT32 and HFS Plus. If you're working with large data or critical data on your system and you don't want to lose it, I would strongly recommend using HFS Plus. And another thing to consider is uh, just by default I always journal my file systems. So you have the option between journaled and non-journaled. Now just to make life easier I just go with journaled. It adds uh, an extra layer of um, security or protection to your data so the file system doesn't get messed up should a power outage occur. And with smaller drives I once again tend to use uh, I tend to use uh, FAT32 as my uh, filing system of choice. And once again that's to maintain portability uh, when moving across between Macs and PCs. Alright, so that's about it. Peace.